In this video we're going to learn about angles. An angle is formed by two straight lines connected by a point. For example, imagine that we draw two lines. Let's call them line 1 and line 2. And then we draw a point. Let's call it point P. To form an angle with these two lines, what we have to do is connect the two lines with the point P in this way. Now, imagine that we draw a circle centered at point P. The green space between the two lines inside the circle is the angle formed by the two lines. Let's paint another angle. Draw two rays connected by a point. Draw a circle centered at the point. The angle is the space between the two connected rays inside the circle. Let's paint this angle orange. We can think of an angle as the slice of a circle. We can see angles in some geometric shapes. For example, we can draw a triangle by connecting three lines. Do you remember that we said that an angle is formed by two lines? Well, in a triangle, we don't have one angle but three angles. One, two, and three. Another example is a square. We can draw a square by connecting four lines. A square has four angles. One, two, three, and four. Another example is a pentagon. We can draw a pentagon by connecting five lines. A pentagon has five angles. One, two, three, four, and five. Another example is a star. Do you know how many angles a star has? That's right. The answer is 10. A star has 10 angles. To measure the size of an angle, we use units called degrees. A degree is a standard unit, and we use this symbol after a number to show that it's a number of degrees. The first type of angle we are going to see is called right angle. A right angle has a measurement of 90 degrees. This means that one line is perfectly flat or horizontal. 
and the other is going straight up and down, or vertical. What will happen if we take the line pointing up and rotate it like the hand of a clock, a little to the right? Well, we don't have a right angle anymore. Instead, we have an angle that is smaller than a right angle. Angles that are less than right angles are called acute angles. An acute angle can measure between 0 and 89 degrees. On the other hand, if we rotate the line to the left instead of the right, we would get an angle that is bigger than a right angle. Angles that are greater than right angles are called obtuse angles. An obtuse angle can measure between 91 and 179 degrees. So, there are three main kinds of angles that you need to know about. Right angles, acute angles, and obtuse angles. There's one more type of angle that's important to learn. It's called a straight angle. A straight angle is just what we get when we rotate our lines so that they point in exactly opposite directions. The result looks just like a straight line, which is why it's called a straight angle. And? Did you understand everything? Great! Let's look at another example together. What type of angle is a 125 degree angle? That's right. The answer is an obtuse angle. Because a 125 degree angle is an angle that is bigger than a right angle that is 90 degrees. What type of angle is a 91 degree angle? You are right again. The answer is an obtuse angle. What type of angle is a 68 degree angle? That's right. The answer is an acute angle. Because an angle of 68 degrees is an angle less than 90 degrees. What type of angle is an 89 degree angle? That's correct. The answer is an acute angle. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.